Welcome to Haltech Elite NSP Training Part 4. In this training tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at creating page layouts with inner NSP software to most effectively navigate the software and calibrate our engine most efficiently using the actual software. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at how to create custom page layouts with inner NSP software. Our page layouts allow us to display tables and data and information so we're able to most effectively and efficiently calibrate and tune our vehicle using the Elite system. So we definitely want to have good page layouts. It's really going to be a make or break if you're trying to figure out maybe what the car is doing, it's doing something odd. If you have the correct page layouts, you can actually monitor every little detail that's going on and pinpoint a problem almost instantly. Now it's gonna require a lot of different page layouts that we're gonna be creating up on top here in order to really get good data analysis and being able to go in and just hit the tables that we need to go and access for something like fuel tuning or spark tuning or knock control. We wanna create specific page layouts associated to a specific tuning task or looking at data in a certain way. So in the beginning of our tutorial here, we're gonna go and take a look at how we can load predefined page layouts. There's page layouts from Haltech, they have quite a few page layouts. I'm supplying page layouts with our course, so we're gonna find those in the course folder. We'll take a look at how to load both. Well, now I'm gonna ultimately load my own page layouts in here, but I'm gonna just show you how to do that. And then towards the end of the tutorial, we're gonna go and actually set up an entire page layout from start to finish. So if you wanna go and create your own custom page layouts, you'll get a feel for what's going on and some of the options we wanna select and some of the layouts we want, might wanna go and work with. It's really personal preference. You have a lot of flexibility in the software. So let's dig in here and let's take a look how to work with this. So the very first thing I wanna talk about here is our main page. This is the default page that's always loaded into the software. We can't delete it. This is going to be what's known as linked to the navigation tree. The navigation tree here is on the side. This allows us to go through the calibration file and dig into anything we want to find within the calibration file. We want to turn things on or off. We want to have this main page here. We're going to be using this in this linked type of option. I can simply go here and minimize that linked tree here on the side or that tree on the side. And that's going to make all that information dissipate and then we're just going to have what's found here on this specific page when we're trying to dig into the file again we're going to be using this main page i'm not going to go and try to go and do anything custom here i'm simply going to treat this as a way to display my information here in my navigation tree if i want to access anything so that's going to lead me now into taking a look at how we load our pages from Haltech into the software it's actually really straightforward what we can do here is go into add new page and then we can move into our new page option. We have a couple different options within the screen. All we're trying to do right now is load the pages from Haltech into the software. So we can find at the top, select the page to add. I'm gonna go into my drop down menu and I can select any of these options from Haltech. These are pages that are dedicated for specific tasks, to try to make you more efficient at calibrating and tuning. So for example here, boost control, if I select that and I click okay, this is gonna display everything for boost control that we probably want to look at. Now, personally, I like to have a lot more data and information from what this is showing, so I probably would want to go and create my own custom page, and in fact, I will, and we're going to take a look at that. But this is the Haltech page for boost control. So this will get you a starting point, but we can definitely customize and tweak this. We can adjust this specific page, or we can create a custom page from scratch, which is what we're going to look at a little bit later in the tutorial how to do. Let's go and load another page. So simply add new page here and let's go to main tuning and let's click OK. Now in here, this is everything related to what Haltech feels that you should see for doing any of the main fuel tuning. Now in my personal experience and preferences, this is not going to be ideal. We're missing a lot of data. We're missing a lot of tables that we can access really easily. My goal is to not have to go into the navigation tree and have this open. I want to simply have my page layouts that I can click through if I want to go and access a certain bit of information or going after a certain tuning task, such as main fuel tuning. So this is a good starting point, but it is definitely not going to be desirable, in my opinion, for dialing in fuel tuning. So let me go here and let's look how we can go and actually remove these pages if we've loaded them. So if I go right click here, I can go into remove page. So that allows me to just get rid of it. If I go to rename page, I could rename this something other than what Haltex called it. If I wanted to change it from main fuel tuning to just our main tuning to fuel tuning, I would be able to do that. So pretty straightforward there. Um, we can save a page. If we create a custom page, we can do a save option, add page, 
and if I go to add page or load page, that's essentially the same thing as clicking on our little task bar up here at the top. So I don't need to worry about that. Uh, resize content to fit page. If I click that, that's going to resize depending on what your resolution on your screen is going to be. You're going to find that before everything was kind of scrunched up, that would be for a low resolution screen. I have a pretty high resolution on my laptop screen, so I was able to expand it out. So that's nice. It's able to auto fit everything. Um, that's going to be definitely something you probably want to go and work with. So again, just click that to have it do a resize. So if I want to go and delete this, let's go ahead and delete this real quick. Let's say remove page. I'm going to say, yes, I want to remove this page. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.